So I'm Dr. Jim Dorasso, the current president of the American Acne and Rosacea Society, and I'm very proud to be standing in front of this team photo of the Las Vegas Golden Knights when they won the Stanley Cup. And in that photo is myself and my granddaughter. We were the first two people that were fans, not on the team, to be in a team photo. And this was the year they won the Stanley Cup. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we're here to talk about is hidradenitis suppurativa. And we're hearing a lot more about hidradenitis suppurativa because we understand the disease a lot better. We have a way to go, but we have better information on the pathophysiology. We understand better mechanisms to address with therapies. We have significant advances in therapy. So we're now doing a better job of not only reducing significantly what we visibly can see, like abscesses and nodules, uh, draining fistulas, etc., but also what lies beneath, which is what's happening. There's often more going on underneath than we can see. And that's really very important. So these newer therapies are bringing to light a lot more information and we're able to treat these patients a lot better. We also know a lot more about things that affect them. We know that smoking is a significant factor leading to the development and progression of the disease. Many of these patients are overweight. That goes along with the disease state. It's very common for them to have high BMI, and many of them actually qualify for weight reduction therapy, which is, requires at least a BMI of 30, right? So that becomes very, very significant. And re reducing weight can also help to improve the disease. Now, keeping that in mind, when we see these patients, they're battling this over a long period of time. This is a dreadful disease with very painful involvement with swollen areas, abscesses, draining sinuses in the groin, under the axilla, under the breasts that can lead to a lot of pain, a lot of embarrassment in many different situations personal, social situations, intimate situations, and they're dealing with this throughout their life, often with exacerbations that affect them on many days. And pain and discomfort is a significant part of this disease state. So we have to keep that in mind, and I think it's important with every hydradenitis suppurativa patient to really sit down. I like to sit down and just have eye-to-eye -eye contact not only find out what they've used and how it's done and, and play the common doctor role that we have to do, that's very important, but let them know that we recognize how difficult it's been and find out from them, in their words, how it's affecting them. Also, how they feel, you know, have they ever thought about harming themselves? There's a higher risk of that in patients with chronic diseases that are bothersome like hydradenitis. Very common to have depression and anxiety and even suicidal ideation. So I think it's important to make that connection. It doesn't have to take very long, but it lets the patient know they're in the right place because often they've been in other offices where these things don't get addressed, not to point fingers at anybody. I'm sure that's happened in my case also over the years, especially since we didn't have good therapies. It was cycling antibiotics, which helped, but really did not address a lot of what was going on. And there's only so much that you can do with incision and drainage and intralesional corticosteroid injection. We do use intralesional corticosteroid injection, triamcinolone injection, but you need to be using about 20 milligrams per ml to inject deep into these lesions. They're deep-seated lesions. They're not small lesions of acne and even acne nodules on the face where we might be using 2.5 milligrams per cc or even less in some cases. So it's very important to recognize that. And then de-roofing. De-roofing is a surgical procedure that's gonna be very beneficial over and above patients that are on biologic therapy. And I think a lot of these people need biologic therapy early. It's very important to get the disease under control, not only what you visibly see, but stop new lesions from occurring and reducing flare-ups. 
and getting rid of the pain. We have good data with biologic therapy that pain reduction can be achieved. So at some point, we will often get these patients help with their lifestyle change, with, with uh, reducing their weight, um, trying to get them to stop smoking. But that's something that we have to realize. Those are very difficult things for people to do. And we don't want to hit them over the head with too much too soon. We want to help them get the disease under control. And I think getting out of the chute and getting them on therapies that are going to make a difference. Once you see double-headed comedones or you palpate, that there's a sinus tract or an air, you know, fluctuance underneath that you're not necessarily seeing on the surface. I learned about palpation and to do that, you know, you know, really spend time on that or concentrate on it, which sometimes we don't do, especially because some of the areas that are involved under the breast or the groin area, even under the arms, you find out a lot from that palpation. I learned that from Dr. Lauren Lamb, who does a lot of hydratinitis suppurativa, uh, in, in Calgary, in Canada. So it's very important and it makes a difference. The patient now knows they're in the right place and you can work with colleagues to address some of these other areas. I think that getting patients on biologic therapy before we start seeing scarring and sinus tracts and what we look at in the textbooks as advanced early stage two or three, you already have chronic fibrosis, that's not going to reverse with medical therapy. You can make a difference by getting people on therapy that's really addressing the underlying progression of the disease and pay attention to what needs physical intervention, maybe some surgical intervention, interlesional therapy, and adjusting therapy as see fit. But once they get their pain under control, they have fewer lesions they are going to feel a lot better than they have for many, many years. Thank you very much.